Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Educating Adventures where we teach science to kids who love animals. Today is going to be a great day because we are talking about an amazing animal that holds a lot of records. Not only is this the tallest and the heaviest bird in the world, it can also run faster than any other bird. If you think that this bird might be an ostrich, you are exactly right. Today, we're learning about ostriches. Let's get into it. Ostriches are very large, flightless birds that are native to Africa. They belong to a group of birds called ratites, which also includes emus, cassowaries, rheas, and kiwis. And I'm talking about a bird, not the fruit. There are actually two species of ostriches, the common ostrich and the Somali ostrich. As their name kind of tells us, the common ostrich is far more common than the Somali ostrich. The common ostrich lives in many parts of Central and Southern Africa, while the Somali ostrich is only found in a small part of Western Africa. Both species tend to live in dry savannas where it's hot and dry and the rain is seasonal. So it's a tough place to live. As we've already mentioned, ostriches hold a lot of records. Not only are they the tallest bird in the world, but they are also the heaviest bird in the world. Male ostriches tend to be larger than females. A large male can stand up to eight feet tall and weigh up to about 200 pounds, which is even larger than some of their predators like leopards. Ostriches are able to grow this large thanks to their omnivorous diet. Ostriches are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. They use their wide beak to feed on plants like grasses and seeds and little animals like insects or small lizards. Another kind of random record that they hold is having the largest eye of any land animal. It can be two inches across. That's even bigger than their brain. Having giant eyes is a great adaptation for ostriches because it gives them great eyesight. It helps them navigate the savanna as they move around. It helps them keep an eye out for predators in the area. And if there is a predator, Ostriches can't fly away, right? Ostriches can't fly at all, but they can certainly run. We mentioned before that ostriches are the fastest bird in the world when they're running. They can run more than 40 miles per hour, and oftentimes that's enough to escape a predator. If they're not able to outrun a predator or if one sneaks up on them, they are still able to defend themselves. They have very strong legs and really thick, long claws on their feet that make a very powerful weapon when they kick. Another amazing record that ostriches hold is they lay the largest egg of any animal on land. It can be six inches long and weigh up to about three pounds. In order for an ostrich to lay their eggs and have chicks, they of course need a mate. Typically during the year, ostriches are either found alone or in small groups or pairs. But during the breeding season, they'll gather in these large groups that usually have one dominant female and one dominant male. And the male, like most birds, it's his job to attract a female. So to do this, he makes a low booming sound and does this very unusual dance where he drops down and he'll use his wings and pull them back and forth over his head in an effort to attract a mate. Lots of the females in the group will mate with the male and then they all lay their eggs in one big nest on the ground. I'm sure you could imagine it would be a little hard for an ostrich to make a nest in a tree. After all the eggs are laid in the nest, 
just the dominant male and just the dominant female are the only ones that care for the eggs and the chicks. The male and the female will take turns sitting on the nest to make sure all those eggs and chicks are nice and warm. Scientists think that male ostriches are a dark black color because they tend to sit on the nest at nighttime, so this helps them blend into the darkness of night. And females tend to be kind of a brownish color. They sit on the nest during the day. So scientists think that her colors are to help her camouflage into those dry grasses of the savanna. As we mentioned before, ostrich eggs are giant. So they make a really good food source for other animals. Lots of predators try to steal ostrich eggs. Ostriches have a couple different ways to combat this. If there's a predator approaching, they might kind of go off to the side to create a distraction. Hopefully the predator won't see the nest. But the dominant female ostrich, she means business. When she's organizing all the eggs in her nest, she keeps her eggs nice and safe toward the middle and all the eggs from the other females along the outside. And if there is a predator coming and the distraction won't work, she may even take one of the eggs from the other females and push it outside of the nest so that the predators will just take that one and leave all the other ones nice and safe. After about a month and a half, the eggs will hatch little chicks will come out and ostrich chicks are what we call precocial which means unlike other birds who when they hatch they have to sit in the nest and they have to wait for mom and dad to bring them food and they can't move around ostriches when they hatch they're kind of ready to go i think about that word precocial like they're pretty ready to go right away when they hatch so ostrich chicks pretty quick after coming out of their eggs are running around looking for food, following around the dominant male and the dominant female who provide all care. Because there are so many predators in Africa where ostriches live, very few ostriches actually survive to adulthood. But the ones that do can live a really long time, up to about 30 to 40 years in the wild and even longer if they're in a zoo. Unfortunately, predators are not the only threat that ostriches are facing in the wild. Like many animals, they're facing threats of habitat loss because the human population is getting bigger. We need more room for cities and roads and farms and we often take that space away from wildlife. So habitat loss is a big problem for ostriches and so is hunting for their meat and for their feathers and People collect their eggs as well as a food source. You can help protect ostriches by, of course, not buying any products that are made with real ostrich feathers and by making donations to organizations that help to work to protect ostriches. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for joining me today to learn about the tallest heaviest and fastest bird on land, the ostrich. I hope you guys had fun and you learned some amazing ostrich facts today. If you want to test your knowledge with quizzes, activities, and projects, be sure to check out our Educating Adventures program, and I hope we see you next time at our next adventure. Bye!